Hi everyone. I know it's been a long time. Sorry about that. I've been really busy. I started working again, so um, I haven't really had the time um, to go shopping. And even if I did, I don't know. I just didn't. I've been mostly, it's been online shopping. But I will have a haul video from the bin stores come up. Um, hopefully, I'll be able to film it and have it up by Sunday. So in the meantime, sorry here, I'm just trying to adjust my um, microphone. <clears throat> I do have a haul that I, or rather um, some stuff that I received from Amazon that I ordered earlier this week. So let's go ahead and get started. Hold on, let me just clip this microphone on. Okay, so <clears throat> I had been thinking about... Um, you know, like I had shown before my Hobonichi weeks that I used for um, keeping track of like my fitness journey this year. And I mean, it's still working out fine. I'm going to finish it for the, you know, um, until the end of the year. And I had went ahead and put in an order for Hobonichi, but I wasn't able to do that until literally about <laughs> 12 days after um, they did the new releases, the beginning of the month. And so my order is actually um, shipped now from Japan, but it's still in Japan. I should be getting it sometime um, either. I don't think I'm getting it this weekend, probably at the beginning of next week, hopefully. And I'll do a video on that. But I did not order a week's. I'm still kind of on the fence. I don't know. We'll see. I might place a second order. But in the meantime, I was thinking I might try something different for next year. So I went ahead and ordered this because just to see if it would work out. So um, what I got from Amazon was a traveler's company or traveler's notebook passport. Now I do have a passport. Um, the only one that I have is um, the records, the limited edition records. And I didn't want to use that for what I was going, you know, what I intend on using. Um, that one I purchased mostly just to collect it. So I just went ahead and just got just a regular passport. And it was cheaper for me to order it on Amazon because obviously the free shipping. And I think it's still it was still cheaper than getting it on the Traveler's um, Company website. So I went ahead and picked it up in brown. And then I went ahead and also got the zipper case um, to put in there. So Traveler's Company is going to be releasing the 2025 Diary or rather the planners. And I'm going to go ahead and get one for the, um, for the passport, but that's going to be, I think it's at the beginning of October. So I kind of still have just a little bit of a week to decide if I'm really going to go that route or if I'm going to go ahead and do, um, you know, the Hobonichi weeks again. So let me go ahead and open it up. So it is like, it says right here, I got it in Brown. Um, I was thinking of maybe getting olive, but they didn't sell the olive or rather if they did on Amazon, it was way, ch it was a uh, way more expensive. And I don't know. I just kind of like the way the Brown looks. So, um, yeah. So I went ahead and got this and I think it was like $38. I'll post a link down below in the description, um, to am to the Amazon, um, yeah, store <laughs> that I got it from. But, um, it's been a while actually since I've gotten like a regular um, or like a standard, well, not a regular, I mean, not a standard, but just a regular child version of because I've only been purchasing just the limited edition ones. And um, yeah, I kind of held off on getting a passport, but I thought maybe I could do this instead of a standard for the fitness stuff because there would be way too much, um, it would be way too big for me to do what I want to do with it. So as usual with a traveler's notebook, you get that and then you get the extra elastic, which you should always save just in case. And, you know, comes in the nice, um, cloth bag. And then of course the extra elastic, which I think I will swap it out cause I do like the orange, you know, and then you've got this and how to treat the leather, but I've got, um, a leather conditioner, that I use that I picked up from Tandy Leather. Actually, 
that's not it. That's gesso. <laughs> I don't know where it is. I thought I had it here by my... Actually, hold on. I think this is it. Yeah, this is the one that I use for all my traveler's notebooks. If you're cu curious, this was cheaper. Hold on one second. Sorry about that. There was somebody at the door. Okay, so anyways, I purchased this over at Tandy Leather. This big tub was, I know it was less than 20 and it's, you know, I can use it on my purses, on my shoes, on my traveler's notebooks. And it works out great. Um, and this will last a very long time compared to the one that's on the traveler's company website, which is a small tin, which, you know, if you've got numerous, um, traveler's notebooks, you're going to need more than just a small tin. So anyways, um, let's see how this looks. And you know, the quality, not the quality, but the, um, the leather itself is always going to be a little bit different. It's not always going to be the same. So this one, I probably will condition it because it feels a little dry. But, oh, I like the fact that this is a different color. It's red. Um, so, yeah. I thought this would actually be better for me to bring with me to my doctor appointments. Because originally when I was thinking, and I had said this in my... Um, Kobanichi Weeks um, video that I was thinking of not using the Weeks next year and that I would just stick to my A6 and put everything in there. But then I realized, you know what, I don't want to be lugging my daily journal everywhere with me or to my doctor's appointment. And then what if I left it somewhere, you know, then I'm screwed, right? So I figure I might as well keep it separate and I don't need to have something. Yeah, I just don't want something that bulky. So I'm going to try this out and see what once I um, once I decide if I really am going to go that, you know, that route with the Traveler's uh, Notebook, then I'll go ahead and order the um, 2025. So that's another thing I'm trying to figure out if I want to get the monthly or the weekly. And if I, if I get the weekly insert, I have to get two because it's only good for six months. And I don't know if it's actually dated. I know they have undated ones, but I don't know if they have dated ones. So we'll see. Um, so yeah, but if I decide to go the weeks, you know, route, I mean, I can still keep this and I'll figure out what to, you know, what to use this for. Cause I don't want to return it. I mean, it's too good of a price to pass up. So, um, so yeah, I went ahead and got that and then like I said, got this to put in there for like any of the stickers that I might use um, for fitness. Um, I actually have more of those step stickers, but it did kind of bulk up the weeks. So if I go with the weeks, I might not use it, um, but it looks so nice <laughs> in, you know, on the pages. So I don't know. We'll see. I was think I actually started using a highlighter and then, you know, writing in the steps that way. So, yeah, I'll just think about it um, on how I want to do it. But for now, I think this will be, you know, okay. I'm just trying to see how this is going to work out. Um, I always hate that the way that they they do this. I wish it was more like the two holes were this way because then you've got more, um, more room. In other words, actually, no, I'll do it this way. And I didn't get, I didn't order any jump bands cause I have my own elastic and I can just make my own jump bands. It's not a problem. Um, I think it's kind of a waste of money to be honest, to order, um, jump bands through travelers company. Cause it's like, that's like how much extra money, you know? So you can always make your own. Just, I've got plenty of two millimeter, I think, um, elastic. Let me just, oh, what? Okay, I'm not gonna deal with that right now. But yeah, so that's how that would look. And like I said, I'm gonna go ahead and condition that tonight and let it sit. So, um, so yeah, that's my purchase. So as far as with, uh, work, I mean, it's great cause it's still, you know, Monday through Friday, I have the weekends off. I, um, but, uh, there's been a lot of stuff that's been going on 
in the last, I would say, month and a half. So that's kind of why I haven't really been online much. And um, yeah, but anyways, um, I do, like I said, I do plan on posting um, more of the um, bin store hauls. Um, I can't go on, you know, to the dollar on dollar day anymore because I'm at work. So mostly it'll be like Friday. If I go, it's probably Friday, Saturday or Sunday. Definitely Sunday because it's going to be a, uh, like a $4 day. That'll be the cheapest. Um, I was thinking of trying to do $2 day, but I, I go to the gym after work. And after that, I just don't want to go anywhere else but home. So yeah, I'll just have to keep it to like the weekend type of thing for that. And then I have my Hobonichi order coming. And then I actually have a new traveler's notebook coming, but which is a limited edition one, so to say. Um, I don't know when that's going to arrive because I purchased it through Macari. Um, and I have more stuff that I ordered from Amazon that should be coming in probably, hopefully like second week of October and stuff. And I'll do a video on that. So anyways, that is my haul for today. And um, yeah, I hope everyone's going to have a great week and a great weekend. Okay. So bye.